Hello there, this is me, Anj Pandey, and you are watching One India English. India, blessed with ample solar potential, receives 300 sunny days annually, fostering an ideal environment for solar energy generation, with an isolation of 4 to 7 kilowatts per square meter daily as per the Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, also known as the IREDA. Harnessing this energy efficiently can substantially reduce reliance on fossil fuels, curbing carbon emissions and bridging energy gaps, especially in remote areas. India, a significant energy importer, spends heavily on energy resources with about 85% of imported escalating expenses. India's solar potential offers a transformative solution, potentially meeting the energy demands while reducing import dependency too. The country's land area receives approximately 5 quadrillion kilowatts of solar energy annually surpassing fossil fuel reserves if harnessed effectively. Recognizing this potential, several Indian states are embracing solar energy with open heart across various sectors envisioning a future where solar power fulfills diverse energy needs in electricity automotive manufacturing and even commercial domains too. Theoretically, even a fraction of this solar energy can fulfill the power of the entire nation if captured optimally. Recently, in these endeavors, India has made a substantial leap by constructing a new solar power plants aiming to boost India's capacity. Today, we are here with you sharing one such transformative story. Do you know India has a solar energy plant that is five times bigger than the city of Paris? Yes, it's true. In Gujarat's Khawra region, a remote area which is bordering Pakistan, an Indian business group has constructed the world's largest renewable energy park with a colossal capacity of 45 gigawatts primarily fueled by solar energy. Initially lacking basic infrastructure and situated amid barren land, the area attracted attention from one of the world's wealthiest individuals in December 2022. Gautam Adani Despite these shortcomings, Mr. Adani recognized its potential for its abundant solar radiation and strong wind speeds. Despite its shortcomings, Gautam Adani recognized its potential due to abundant solar radiation and strong wind speeds, formerly barren and devoid of human settlement. The region's highly saline soil supported little vegetation too. However, with optimal solar radiation, second only to Ladakh and exceptional wind conditions, it emerged as an ideal site for the renewable energy park. Accessible by an 18km drive from the airstrip, the Khawra Renewable Energy Park spans 538 square kilometers, approximately five times of Paris. Nevertheless, the Adani Group embarked on a transformative journey for this area. Solar panels were deployed to convert sunlight into electricity while windmills were capitalized on wind speeds reaching up to 8 meters per second. Worker colonies were also established and desalination plants were also constructed to make saline groundwater potable. Moreover, essential services like the mobile phone and repair shops were also introduced, turning the once barren landscape into a vibrant center of renewable energy production and sustainable living. The Adani Green Energy Limited, India's largest renewable energy company, plans to invest approximately 1.5 crore to generate 30 megawatts of clean electricity in Khawra, Gujarat's Kutch region, as stated by its managing director, Vinit Jain. With 551 megawatts of solar energy already set up and running, the group has managed to turn the barren land in front of Kutch into a bustling hub of clean energy. And you know, what's more amazing, this all happened in just one year. The outer flange of this park is just one kilometer from the international border with Pakistan, and so that buffer is manned by BSF. Executives said that the airstrip was built in just 35 days in an area where even tractors have to be modified so they can operate in land that doesn't easily absorb water. In the Khawra region, where solar irradiation reaches an impressive 2060 kilowatts per meter square 
and wind resources are among the India's finest. There are notable challenges to overcome. From heavy dust storm during March to June to the absence of communication and transport infrastructure, the nearest habitable area is 80 kilometers away and the water scarcity issues such as non-seepage of water under the soil during the rainy season and saline groundwater, the region is still presenting a formidable obstacle. However, not for long. Despite these challenges, significant progress is being made. While some workers hail from the Khawra village, accommodations are being still constructed to house up up to 8,000 workers. This renewable energy plan stands out as the most ambitious among corporate entities in India. Their goal is to generate 500 gigawatts of electricity from non-fossil sources by 2030, aligning with broader vision of achieving net zero emissions by 2070. At its peak, Khawra is projected to generate 81 billion units of electricity, sufficient to power entire nations like Belgium, Chile and even Switzerland. The Adani Group has revealed that they have planned a 30 gigawatt capacity in Khawra and it will comprise of 26 gigawatts of solar energy and 4 gigawatts of wind capacity. This existing operational portfolio includes 7,393 megawatts of solar and 1,401 megawatts of wind and 2,140 megawatts of wind and solar hybrid capacity. Despite this immense potential, the frequent occurrence of sandstorms are still possessing a challenge for the people there, necessitating regular cleanage of solar panels, sometimes multiple times a day. And so to address this, executives are planning to implement Waterless Robotic Module 2 for cleaning systems across the entire project site. It's important to note that Khawra land is government-owned and it is leased to Adani Group for 40 years, emphasizing the collaborative effort between the private sector and the government entities too in advancing the renewable energy initiatives across India. Over the last few years, India has undertook an extensive array of studies and assessment before commencing development as various sites. These include geotechnical investigation, seismic studies and resource assessment too, alongside environmental and social impact assessment and detailed feasibility studies too. Construction of this site, as mentioned before, began in 2022, marking the start of a comprehensive infrastructure development initiative. This encompassed the construction of 100 kilometers of roads, 50 kilometers of drainage systems, and the establishment of a desalination plant and three reverse osmosive RO plants, boasting a combined capacity of 70 cubic meters per hour to cater the people there for the project staff. Additionally, optical fiber cables are also being laid across 180 kilometers for enhanced connectivity and concrete batching plants are also being set up as a part of the project's infrastructure. These strides being made in the Khawra region exemplifies India's commitment for a sustainable development and renewable energy innovation. Despite facing significant challenges, ambitious plans such as Khawra underscores India's potential to become a global leader in solar energy production. With its abundant solar irradiation and favorable wind resources, India stands poised to revolutionize the energy landscape, not only meeting domestic energy demands, but also contributing to global efforts to combat climate change. As the nation continues to invest in renewable energy infrastructure and technology, Khawra serves as a beacon of hope, demonstrating that with determination and will, India can harness its natural resource to create a greener and more prosperous future for generations to come.